Hello everyone. In this um video, I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo on the Apple Watch Series 3. Um, and a little bit of what's on my watch and how I have things set up. So, before we do take the watch off of the charger, um, as some of you may know, I started off with an Apple Watch Series 1. Not the original Apple Watch, but the next up from that. And it did me half decent for the few years, maybe two years that I had it. Uh, recently, maybe 2018 or 19, you know, beginning of 2019, I bought myself a um, Apple Watch Series 3. Um, the lag of my series one was getting to me, of course, and so I upgraded. No. Perfect. Battery is full. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the device on here. I'm going to start by putting it upside down, flipping it over, and then tightening it as I need. And I'm using the normal uh, sport loop. Now, to wake the device up, you can either press the digital crown or um, tap the screen. I'm going to press the digital crown. And, and you get to your watch face. Now the watch face I'm currently using is modular, and I have voiceover set to speak seconds at all times. Now let's bring out my password box. I'm going to type it in. It's a very small keypad. And here we are. Saturday, April 20th. So, top left corner of the watch face, I have now playing. Now playing. the default, Saturday, April 20th. Uh, which is the date. PM and in the middle, PM and or sorry, in the top middle, I have PM and time. Seconds. Nothing in the top right. Seven degrees. Feels like four degrees. Showers. In the middle, from the north -northeast. 15 kilometers per hour. Battery. 100 per Seven degrees. Seven de I have weather gods. Uh, bottom left. Is my battery icon. Tap to record. Um, bottom middle is Aurora recorder. Walkie talkie. And then walkie talkie in the bottom right corner. To put the watch to sleep, you either just put your arm down, it'll detect the motion, and it'll fall asleep. But the next time you wake it up, it'll leave off where you were. So to lock it, lock it, like it'll return to you. To your watch face, you cover the screen with your palm. Page one of three. So I'm going to wake it up. Now I'm going to put my palm. And it locks. Now, the physical description of the watch will come later. Um, I just want to get the software portion out of the way first. So... To um, activate Siri, you will wake up the watch. You will wake up your watch and then hold down the digital crown until you... Feel a vibration. What time is it? 
and let go. And after a little bit, it should go off. Now, powering on and off the device is pretty simple. Um, starting off at a powered off state, um, what you will do is once you have the watch on your wrist at the desired tightness you want, you press the long side button that's behind or under, whatever you want to call it, the digital crown. So it's the round, um, oval, pretty long oval button behind or whatever the digital crown. You hold that down for maybe three seconds, three to five seconds, and it will wake up or start the um, powering on process. Um, if you want to look at how to set up the watch, um, I have a video on one of my other channels. Um, so if you go to my main channel and go to the featured tab or the channels tab, Gaps Tech How To 12 is the channel and you can look for how to uh, set up the Apple Watch from there. To power off, I'm not really going to do it, but I will show you the menu. Wake up your watch. Hold the side button down until you feel a slight vibration. Let go. You have cancel, power off, and emergency SOS. Now, let's see you hold the side button down longer than you need to, which we're going to do you will activate emergency SOS, which if you don't let go in time, you will call emergency. Now another thing is accessing control center. There are a few ways you can do this. On the watch face, which is the only place you can activate control center and notification center, you can swipe up with one finger, get to the one you want, double tap. Same thing for notifications. Or you could Swipe up or down with two fingers. So up is control center, down is notifications. Notification center. Control center. Activate. Of course, my two finger gestures aren't working, so I'm going to restart voiceover. I'm going to shut it off by triple clicking the digital crown. And turn it back on, same way. Voiceover on. Activity. Watch face. Okay. Notification so that's not working for me right now, so I will be able to show you how to reboot. Um, but you can also... Touch the bottom or top edge of the screen like the iPhone 10 and swipe up. So let's say I want control center. Control center. Swipe Image up like that. Image. And I'll bring it up. And same thing for swipe down. PM in five seconds. Notification center. And to clear notifications, Switch you just menu. press hard on the screen. The menu will come up. You just hit clear all. PM in 16 seconds. Now we're going to shut the device off. To fix my little problem, we're going to hold down the side button. We're going to flick right once and double tap. So now we're going to give it a little bit of time to uh, shut down. All right. The watch is off. So we're going to hold the side button in for about three to five seconds. Let go. And what I usually do to make sure it's actually waking up is I tap the screen a few times. And it should be starting up. After that, you can either type in your PIN, or if you have it enabled in the watch app, use Touch ID on your phone to unlock your watch, which I don't do. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, it should come up here in a second. Not as slow as my um, Series 1. And the speaker on this is a lot better.
So what I recommend is when the device has successfully powered on, I recommend waiting maybe two minutes or so um, to let everything load up. Because uh, the keypad, once it's fully powered on, won't work right until you wait, which is fine. Just let everything load up. This part, I am not going to pause um, because I'll give you guys an idea on what this will look like. Heck, maybe not even 30, th um, two minutes, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, we should be good now. We're going to hit the digital crown. Hit it again. Keypad looks right, so we're going to... Type in our pin. And now what I need to do, since I use Weather Gods, is I'll need to tap on the icon. And... Actually, no. We're going to wait a little bit more. After the pin has been inputted just to let everything else load up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on Weather Gods and top, tap my location just to be sure it gets my weather accurately. 12, 11. Weather gods. Comma, 11. So now's a good time. Don't know why it's bringing that up. Just hit Weather Gods. Watch face. Loading. 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 It's gonna... Calgary, GPS. I'm going to click, click Calgary GPS, Loading. Weather. Loading. Weather. and Move up. Fire God. boom. Okay. Now. Eight degrees. So, Watch. Eight degrees. Eight degrees. Feels like five there it is. Battery. Power. So now we're going to show you water lock. We're going to swipe up with two fingers. Control center. Control center. Region tracking on. Image. Me. 100%. Do not disturb. Switch button. Theater mode. Water lock. Flashlight. Switch button. Off. Let me actually slow that down quick. Uh, I should still be recording, I hope so. Uh, let me slow my watch down slightly. I'm doing this through the watch app. Wish there was an easier way to do it, but this works. Uh, I'm going to bring that down to about 60. That's good enough. Connected. 100% battery power. 8 degrees. Feels so like control up. center. Mute. Do not disturb. Theater mode. Water lock. Switch button. We're going to flick off. right to water lock, or we're going to double tap. 12, 12 p.m. in 44 seconds. So see now, we can't really tap the screen. We can only do the double tap to do taptic time. Uh, let's make sure we're still recording here. Um... So what we're going to do is we're going to wake it up by hitting the digital crown, 12, PM and, and we're going to rotate it forward, and it'll start playing a tone. 12, 13 PM and eight seconds. So you hear that? Now the screen is functional like again. Okay. So physical description of the watch. Uh, let me speed up my rate again. Uh, this is way too slow for me. Uh, bring that up to about 80 or 70. Um, I'm going to enable screen curtain. And we're going to close the watch app. Okay. So on the right side, we have the digital crown, the side button. On the left side, you have a speaker and the microphone. On the back, you have the little circle thing that fits into the uh, hockey puck-like charger, uh, but it's smaller than one, and it uses a magnet to f hook in, but it also has your heart rate sensors and everything in that little circle part. Also, above and below that circle part, you have two release buttons to release your watch band. So to release your watch band, you want to press that down with your nail and slide the band outwards. 
and there we go it's released to put it back in you don't really need to hold the button down but you could if you wanted to you just slide it in until you hear a click slide it in until you hear a click so I'm gonna be needing it today so we're going to drop it on the charger uh, just to let it keep charge for a little bit so that was my little demo on the Apple watch um, actually, I didn't really show what I have on it, but I guess that'll be on another pod or video. Um, I don't know how big this recording is getting, so I'll make another video, um, showing what I, I have on my Apple Watch. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.